Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh! Hi! How are you? Oh my God. Mwah. Good to see you. He just walked in the building, Jeff Lewis. You guys, I saw him in LA in our Los Angeles studios. Hi, you! Um, I saw you and your Lexus, I noticed. But, um, Jeff, I, yes. I saw you, and you walked out of the studio, and I went, oh, my God, I love you. I think you're doing a great job. Thank you. Um, you joined the Sirius family. Uh, I guess your show start is on uh, starting October 16th. Jeff Lewis Live expands to three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, on Sirius XM Radio Andy. How do you like doing radio? I never thought I would love it as much as I do. Right? It's like a joke. We get paid for this. I say it almost every single day. Oh, we shouldn't say that because no. we're both in contract negotiations. Yeah. <laughs> we shouldn't say that. They we hate it. It's such a listen. hard job. I know. It, yeah, it we is, should be paid more. There is something about um, being able to be free. They don't censor you here. Um, I mean, there's probably like a couple things you can't say. But for the most part, you get they're, 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 they're hiring you because they want you. Y- yes. And I will say that... Uh, I feel I'm getting to know these people. Like, I'm, first of all, I'm a big fan. Like, I'm right. walk, I walk around, and I'm going to tell you this is kind of embarrassing, but we got here a little early, and I sat outside and I watched all the celebrities go in and out, people <laughs> watching. It's so pathetic. I, I know, but too. I'm like, I just sit there and I just, and then the fact is they're coming in for an hour and I get to just talk to them about anything. Right. And I, I feel like I'm getting to know these people on a level that we, like, if you, I, you have to come on my show. I, totally because show. what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you all these things that, like you do all these big appearances, right? And so now you go on Jimmy Kimmel and you've got a three minute segment. Exactly. I don't know shit about you. That's right. And they're pre produced. So you're getting all these dumb stories about their dog that went to the bathroom right. at the wrong time. And you're like, this sucks. The radio allows the ability to have a conversation. You yes. can go deep. And, you know, a person like you. I couldn't wait to interview because there's so I have to fix my microphone. It's yeah, no be problem. Crazy. I like your ring, by the way. It's thank very pretty. you, thank you. So you know you're going to notice this too that with when you have the time, people tend to open up a little bit yes, more. Yes, they do. I don't need that time with you because you give it. I mean, I still want time with you, but you um, you're so free with your opinions, and I appreciate that. I am surprised I only have two pending lawsuits right now with my mouth. <laughs> Seriously, I'm really surprised because it is amazing the shit I get away with. I should have 25 lawsuits. Right? Yes. I mean, I don't think that's the case that you should have 25 lawsuits, but I do feel like you're pretty damn lucky. Lucky. It could be. I mean, it's amazing with some of the things we get away with. I want to plug the show Flipping Out Tuesday nights at uh, 10 o'clock on Bravo. The show is amazing. Have you gotten, uh, is, it, is it coming back? Do you know? You got to pick up? Because of all the issues that have been going on with me, the two, you know, the pending lawsuits, and then also the radio shows created a lot of problems for me at Bravo, because I've talked about behind the scenes, uh, I've talked about contracts, <sighs> and so I've got in a lot, a lot. I've had a lot of heat from Bravo. They have not renewed my contract. It expires on October fifteenth, and I am looking for a job. Are you are you nervous that you're not going to get resigned? I am nervous. I am nervous, but I will tell you that I've already. I'm resigned to the fact. I love. Look, I've. I'll always, my entire life, is I know that one door closes, I always know another door is going to open. Sometimes it takes three years for that door to open, but there's always another door that's going to open. Another door opened for me, and I have this serious radio show, and I love it. And I was saying to Gage, you know, if I'm done on television, I'm cool with that. I love this job. And you know what? I've been I've been doing this for 11 years. I wasn't expecting it to last forever. I mean, did you, does it disappoint you to know that it's going away because of the controversy? I, uh, I just believe that everything happens for a reason and things end when it's supposed to end. And I'm not saying flipping out is over, but it could be. It could be. It could be, but um, we hope not, by the way. Right. But we're glad to have you at Sirius. So the the whole controversy with the X, tell me, did you put that X on Jen's face? I did. <laughs> I Sorry. did. Okay, so I had a. So people don't know my co-star, who has been my assistant for 16 years. Uh, we had a rift, and so I was promoting the show, and I put up a picture on social media with uh, Jenny and myself, and I put a red X over her face. And um, and this is actually kind of a funny story. Bravo immediately started calling me, and they called me all day. Please take this down. Please take this down. Please take this down. At the end of the day, the SVP, the big boss, sent me a simple text. Ta- not hi, how are you, Jeff? Whatever. Take it down. Wow. And Jeff took it right down. Yeah, I took it right down. Because you were nervous. I was nervous when the big boss calls or just texts. Did you understand why? 
I mean, I thought it was funny. I thought it was, you know, I meant it as a joke. Um, I thought, you know, I'm, if we're trying to promote the show, a lot of people saw that, but it was not, you know, I understand now it wasn't really the message that they wanted me to send. Did Jen appreciate it? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Did she ever say anything to you about it? She hasn't talked to me for three months. Really? Yeah. We haven't talked for three months. That's heartbreaking. It is. We've been friends for 16 years. Yeah. I, I know. It's crazy. And then did she? you did stop her from writing the tell-all. That was a few years back, yeah. So we've had a long list of, you know, we've had a very complicated friendship because we've also had a television show together. And I think there's been some competition and I think there's been, um, you know... Uh, there's been some missteps on both of our parts, and we've we've worked very hard to get through them and pass them. You know, then like you know, recent we had a, a major problem, and you know, I, it's so funny because if you asked me a week ago, I'd say I'm never talking to her again. But now I start to watch the episodes, and I'm like, oh, I miss her, mm-hmm. and I like we were, you know, we were such good friends, and all. So now I'm just saying. Never say never. Never say never. And you know what? I look back now at some friendships that I have that there was some serious shit that went down. And I forgave them and they forgave me and we move forward. Time is an amazing healing yes. device, isn't it? The relationships do change a bit. I think you become, maybe you're not as so open and vulnerable. Right. But that's also not my personality to be guarded. So that, you know, I I, I feel like um, I want to feel safe around you, Jenny, and I want to feel like I can tell you anything and that you're not going to use it against me. Right. And those are the people that I, I, I truly... Uh, want to surround myself by. And even sometimes if we say things that are a little un-PC, you know what I meant. You know I'm not racist. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm not. I, I would never actually think that if you know me. And, and were you afraid that she was going to come out and disparage you in a book again or anything like that or no? Um, she just went to my, uh, okay, here's the thing about you and I, as we become friends, because I really would like to be friends with you, Jenny. Uh, any issues moving forward, I'm always going to call you direct. I'm never going to go behind your back. I'm never going to call your husband. I love that. I'm never going to call your boss. I love it. I'm going to go to you direct, and you and I are going to fucking work it out. <laughs> so, and it, look, if we have a disagreement, I'm still not going to our boss and complain about you. I am going to wait. I'm going to give it a minute, and then I'm going to I'm going to approach you again. So, that was the sore spot. That was the hurt that she went above. She went to our bosses and got me in some trouble. And that was unnecessary because it's something that we could have worked out on our own. And why now, after all these years, it's not like you are like, you know, Mary Poppins to work with. We all know. And yeah. you'd admit it. Yeah. Why now all of a sudden? I, I just think it was uh, it's so funny because when you love somebody like, you know, I, it's, it's, I love Jenny. And so I kind of like put myself in her place and I'm like, OK, what was going through your head? I just think truly it was an emotional knee jerk didn't not planned reaction and I honestly think she regrets it now what I would love right now which would help a lot with the healing process call me Jenny call me tell me what you were thinking apologize let's talk about this because I I I don't think like I don't want to be upset and I was thinking about this this morning um I had a therapist, Jenny, yeah, I that too. said, I, I did not, I was not good with communicating my feelings as a child. And so my parents sent me to therapy. And I'll never forget this because this is what the therapist would say every time I walk in the door. I want you to tell me how you're feeling today. Mad, sad, glad, afraid, ashamed, hurt. Wow. And you can feel all those feelings. And I would go in and it, and it was really like an exercise for me because I was yes. able to, I was able to connect with my feelings. So if I were to answer that question right now, how do you feel about your rift with Jenny? I am mad. I'm sad. I am glad. I'm afraid. I'm ashamed. And I'm hurt. I feel all those feelings. I feel them all day. Now you said uh, you would love for her to call and apologize. Could you apologize to her? Uh... For the ex, we look. I uh, certainly yes. I I think that we. I am. I'm willing to look at my role in things because look, I contributed to getting to that point. You know, so absolutely would I admit what I did wrong. So you, you Jeff Lewis, can take accountability. I can. Sometimes it takes me a minute. It takes me a minute. Uh, you and I have an, a, a fight, and I'm wrong, and Gage will nod. Sometimes it takes me a couple days, but I do show back. I will show up, and I will apologize. I am accountable. I will be accountable. But the thing is, the problem is I'm not wrong very often. <laughs> but when I am, I will, I will own it. 
I love that you talked about you definitely owned being a narcissist until you had your baby, your beautiful yes. baby. Isn't it amazing how you become um, selfless and not selfish when you have your baby? I'm still a, a little bit selfish, but not like the way I was. I mean, I just thought about me all right. day, every day for 46 years. And it's amazing what this kid has done to my life. Like, I, I never thought I would just be consumed. You, you know what? All my priorities changed. It's like I used to work and make money for me because I wanted to buy this. Right. But now all I want to do is work, make money for her. Right, me too. And it's not like to buy her clothes. It's really I'm I'm already thinking about like school, school and I'm thinking even right now this is insane to me. I'm we're trying to keep her very busy. Um, she's got a lot of energy, and uh, so she's got two activities a day. So she's got dance class, music class, my gym. She just started art class. She loves painting, and I. I just feel so great that so I can provide that, this for right? her. But it's fucking costing me like 700 bucks a month no for shit. all of these classes. Just the classes. <laughs> just, but I get, trust me, I get it. I have a child with special needs. It's cost of fortune. That's why you see me doing like tampon commercials just to pay for speech therapy. Instagram posts, all of it. All of it. I'm yeah. talking to Jeff Lewis, flipping out also his show on Radio Andy. I want to dive into a little bit of the housewives because I love that you love You're them so, so much. You're so good about promoting. I need to learn from you. If you don't mind, I should sit here and just I, I'll be quiet. I'll stand up. But I, what I like about you is that you're just you're you just keep promoting, promoting, promoting. Well, you know what I hear in I my head. I forget to do that. I, it took me a while. I hear in my head people in their car going, "I have to get out of the car. Tell me the name of that book again. Tell me the name of the book. What, who's who's she talking to?" So I just feel like people are saying that to me. So I just connect to them. But let me talk about Housewives before they pull you away. I okay. love that you love them. We were talking in the elevator when I saw you about some of them. Um, I have a lot of behind the scenes shit. I know. Yeah. What is? What, give me something we don't know and that you would love to share. Well, okay. I, this hasn't been confirmed, but are you watching OC Housewives? Yes. Okay. So Gina's now getting a divorce. She's the new girl this season. Yep. Now, have you seen her husband? You need to Google him. He is fucking hot. Really? Hot. Unbelievable. Hands down, the hottest ha- house husband in all. All of history, even better than Apollo. And I would sleep with Apollo. Wow. Yeah. When he gets out of jail. Or is he out of jail? No, I think he's still in jail. Yeah, when he gets out. Um, I would wait for him. I would wait for Apollo. Okay, do you think he's 100%? Look at him. Is he fluid? No, no, no. He's not into me. But what I'm going to tell you is that, would you let that guy live alone in L.A.? In his own apartment? No. He's By the way, he's got a great body, too. So, my feeling is, and this is alleged, because I don't want another lawsuit. Okay. It's Something's missing here. When we're when she's talking about how we have great sex, and we're friends, and they got three kids together, but we've decided to get divorced. I think that somebody's ego's involved. She's not being vulnerable with us. She's not being honest with us. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, allegedly, allegedly. do you think he's fucking around? Oh, God. I mean, I can't Look make at that. him. I think... Everybody on the West Coast is fucking around. I mean, when I was single, it was amazing. And I would be amazed if that one penis I was with was only in my vagina. Right. Because it's just a free-for-all and everyone's gorgeous. So, I don't know. I'd move them. I'd move them to freaking like Riverside. But you don't think these New York... Or they breed dogs. You don't think these New York men are, are gorgeous too? Because yeah, they're classy. The and suits and the ties, the suits, the ties, and they're all fitted nicely. Like better. I have loose, baggy clothes. Because, but but these guys, they like they go to the right tailors. They're <laughs> fitted. They look good. Plus, there's so much walking. Totally. But I think people are in better shape here than they are in LA. I got to keep going. So, uh, no, I love it. Uh, has Lisa lost her crown? You think in Beverly Hills? Well, you know, there's some major shit going. That's down. right. Yeah, she's ghosting, from what I understand. Uh oh, Chloe. I think she's ghosting Bravo and the other uh the other Ooh. girls right now. Do you think these are all opinions that she's gonna leave? I don't see, you know, I don't think so. Um, you know, she's very tied into Bravo with Vanderpump Rules right. and all of that. But she can just go to Vanderpump Rules, I think, and be the she queen. She could. She could. What's well, not a bad move for her? You know, if she's if she's you know, if she doesn't want to do that, that's not a bad move for her cuz that not. Vanderpump Rules is a huge it's show. It's a huge hit. Huge. It's it's bigger than a lot of the uh the I could watch shows. that every day. Right. It's like my crack too. Did you ever have them on your show? Of course. Yes. Yes. Oh. I got some dirt out of them. You know that they, all of them. I'm on restriction right now with Bravo. They've banned all Bravo guests from my show right now. What? Yeah. Why? 
Why? Because they're cause punishing so me. But, but you know what? I've been working really hard to build that bridge, so I'm hoping the restrictions going to be lifted. But in the meantime, you should take advantage of that. Have as many Bravo people as you can, because <laughs> I can't have I'm them gonna, on. I'll have them on, and then you can gossip about what they I'm say. Gonna, I'm going to be recycling now. I can do. I can have anybody that's that was. You know, formally on Bravo. Right. And fortunately, Brad Goreski's, he's up for it. He's going to come back. So Brad's probably going to be on every day. You crack <laughs> me up, Jeff Lewis. Uh, flipping out also Sirius XM Radio Andy Thursday, Tuesdays, Fridays. Uh, Brandy on Twitter says that it was Jeff's idea to throw wine. True? Uh, oh my God, she just tweeted? Yep. Uh, that's not what happened at all. What happened was, is that we agreed that we, I said, you could say anything you want. You could do, go for it, go after me. Um, we, I gave her kind of free reign to come at, come at me. I did not expect the drink. I mean, if you, if you see us on, uh, if you see the show, like I, I was pretty shocked. I was pretty shocked. And I, you know what? I like Brandy. I think Brandy is a is a huge personality and a great. Um, I might be scared to be friends character. with her, but I do appreciate her as a character. Yeah, but I think I mean I ran into her at Craig's, which is like a for your listeners is kind of a fancy restaurant that all everybody goes totally. to. I used to not be able to get in, but now I have a connection. <laughs> <laughs> I literally could not get in for like two years, but I, I ran into so Brandy much. there, and I thought we. I think we pretty much reconciled. I think we're good. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. You you could have a whole housewife. Show, honestly, just gossiping, and I'd listen. Dorinda, um, you interviewed her. I love the interview you did on Radio Andy. Do you think uh, our little Dorinda, who I love, has a drinking problem? You know, I've been out with her a few times, and uh, you know, she doesn't drink any more than I drink. And I feel like we've we've been able to go out, have a couple of drinks. She stops at two or three. I don't. I'd have never seen her order five or six. She's never slurred with me. Uh, I, you know, I, who knows? I mean, I, I don't think so. Because I'm sure so. you've watched the show. Yeah, of course. And you see what we see, which is those amazing toasts. <laughs> but don't we all have messy nights? Absolutely. So do you think they're just capturing her messy I nights? I do, and I feel like. You know, uh, you, you got to understand if she's having a messy night, you're right, they're going to use it. Uh-huh. But I'm sure there was nine times where she was fine, and then there was the one night that she went out and she was slurring and, and couldn't walk, and that's what they use. Right. What about Bethany? Fan? I am a fan of Bethany, and we have it. We actually have a nice. I mean, I would say we're acquaintances, but we do text, and yeah, I like Bethany a lot. I have I, a lot of respect for her, and I bet she likes you because you tell it like it is. We do like each other. You'd make a great housewife, Jeff. I actually told, told Bethany we should have a show together. I was that was my because I don't know if Frederick is going to do that show I, again. It's not. I my question. He didn't was, look good in that show. If you would do a show with her, because you're the only one that could go toe to toe with her. Well, it's funny because we were saying in the te- I texted her. I said if we ever to do something together, I said you're not going to make me cry. <laughs> Because Frederick cried. He cried. Of course he did. I mean, she just annihilated him. Well, that's where Bethany also cries, too, like crazy. Right. I, but I think you're just as quick as she is. Well, I think we're strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. And I, I, I'm not going to let her railroad me. But I think, actually, we could be very successful together. I wouldn't mind, like, you know, doing a, a, a Jeff and Bethany. I would watch it in a second. But, I mean, we'll, we'll see. what I, I, I just don't think that Frederick looked good no. in that show. I don't think it's a good uh, it's a good platform for him. No, I think she, he's great on Million Dollar he, Listing. He definitely looked like a bottom on that show. <laughs> Jeff Lewis, thank you so much. I'm going to come on your show, f- uh, not flipping out, but on Sirius XM show. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, you guys, three days a week starting October 16th. Thank you so much and oh, keep up the great work. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. We'll be right back, you guys. So, Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh! 